Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz, and this is my weekly segment on the Houston Texans called Bullheaded. Um, basically, I'm going over the team's news for the week as well as their game previews for the upcoming matchups. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Um, Monday, the Texans got a very surprising win against the Cincinnati Bengals. But however, in terms of getting a win, they also had to suffer a loss. Uh, quarterback Brian Hoyer actually suffered a concussion um, while he was playing of uh, the team discovered the concussion uh when Hoyer was in the huddle and he said that he was having trouble remembering the plays that were being called so he couldn't relay that information you know to the rest of the players so in his place came former uh Texan starter from way back in the day uh quarterback TJ Yates and so Yates he threw the game's only touchdown to lead the uh team to a 10 to 6 victory over a previously undefeated Cincinnati Bengals team that a lot of people had at just destroying the Texans. So, um, but that being said, um, it was, you know, a pretty exciting win all around for the fan base because nobody, pretty much nobody was really expecting them to go in there on the road, at least, and just, you know, straight up just beat the Bengals or at least hold their offense in check. So, uh, but however, like I said earlier, um, Hoyer suffered a concussion, and this week, I believe it was Thursday, they ruled him up completely out of the game for um, this Sunday against the Jets. So right now, as it stands, TJ Yates is going to be starting once again. And on top of that, the fan base got a little bit more worried because the team went out and signed Brandon Whedon, you know, as a backup. So that raised a lot of eyes because previously uh, Whedon he was playing for the Dallas Cowboys this season, and he was a big contributor of that seven-game losing streak that the Cowboys have suffered. So a lot of people are just on pins and needles about that, wondering like, where is that going to go, and how pretty much how long is Hoyer is going to Hoyer is going to be out? So Whedon is far away from the chance of playing as he possibly can be. Um, one of the things that I kind of uh, just wondering about is, you know, is Yates capable of, you know, being a quality starter, you know, while Hoyer is out? Because uh, Bill O'Brien said Hoyer could be back as early as next week. But at the same time, you really don't know how these concussions work. I know I don't know how they work. So, yeah, he says next week, you know, this week or but, you know, next week he could be saying, you know, two weeks or two or three weeks from now. So. Um, with that being said, you know, is Yates really, you know, capable of holding a regular starting position? Um, remember, this guy, when he left the Texans, he was on a couple other teams, I believe. And on top of that, he was with the Falcons uh, this beginning of, beginning of this regular season. But they, in fact, I don't even think he made it to the regular season. I think they cut him during the preseason. So as it stands, the Texans have two backup, two failed backup quarterbacks you know, in the immediate uh, playing position. So hopefully um, Hoyer is not out, you know, for all that long, even though we were already having our issues at QB. Um, hopefully he'll be back right away. But even with Yates, um, even before he left the Texans, I think his last game with us that he played was against the Rams. And I remember in that game, he wasn't all that effective. Plus he left that game with an injury. So, I mean, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or whatever, but I'm just looking at things, you know, the way it is. You know, it's a lot of bad, you know, baggage, you know, coming in with this guy. And, yeah, I think the Bengals game may, could be a positive thing that he can hold on to. Like, you know, he did throw a touchdown against the Bengals. Uh, he won the game for us. But also in the fact that, you know, he had the last, I believe, his rookie season probably the last time that he played against the Bengals. Um, you know, that was the game that he won. You know, he scored the rushing touchdown, and that got us the division title that year, as well as, you know, sent us to the playoffs, obviously. So um, that'll just be something to look out for, and I guess uh, this game will definitely be a start um, to see, like, what he can actually do. Now, as far as this game goes, um, just get jumping into the game previews, uh, the Jets are pretty surprised. They're they're a pretty good team, you know, surprisingly good this year. Um, they're coming into this game five and four, and they are playing, I believe they are second place in the AFC East. 
right behind the New England Patriots. And, you know, the season that the Patriots are having, you know, they're undefeated. They're going to just run away with the division at this point of the season. So with that being said, you know, anything that the Jets can do to make sure that they have a stay within the playoff race, they're going to do it. So every win is definitely going to count. I don't think they're going to take the Texans Texans lightly at all. Um, Jets come in, and one of their biggest weapons is their defense, particularly their run defense. The number one in the running game, I mean, excuse me, the number one in running defense and only giving up 88.1 yards a game. They've only allowed two rushing touchdowns all season. You know, that's bad news for a suspect running game that we have. However, um, on the flip side of things, they're 20th in passing offense. So, at that, it's that right there that's going that tells me that our defense need to win this game. Our defense needs to have a repeat performance of last week. And that was pretty, you know, that was pretty tough for them to do, you know, last week against, I mean, a quarterback like Andy Dalton. I know a lot of people have their reservations about Dalton, but at the same time, he was leading one of the best teams in the NFL. So I believe um, if they can pull off a repeat performance of last week, then they definitely can uh, leverage the game out you know, in our favor. Um, the stops that they can make on Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, going after him, keeping him contained as much as possible or just sacking him and hitting him as much as possible, um, that will prolong, a, that will start causing a lot of third downs, uh, a lot of a lot of the third downs will be turned into fourth downs, thus uh, a lot of punts, and thus a lot of, a lot more chances for our offense to have the ball in their hands. Um, if our offense can get the ball in our hands, a lot more than you know, uh, the new, than the Jets' offense. Then I think we have a pretty good shot. Even with our running game being suspect, I still think you know Yates can he can probably dump off a little a couple screen passes or a couple medium routes. Just something that'll wear down that defensive line. And once that defensive line and that a little bit of that front seven of that overall front seven uh, just gets tired and worn down, then, you know, I think we can attack them with the deep threats. But, you know, to wrap everything, to wrap all this up and to summarize it, um, our main thing is going to be our defense just has to, you know, repeat what they did last week. And it's going to be a lot more damaging to a quarterback such as Brian Fitzpatrick, you know, who's not, I mean, I guess you can say he's not at the caliber, if you will, of, um, of Andy Dalton. You know, only because, you know, he's not, he's really not leading a undefeated team or whatever. So you can email me, message me, <laughs> whatever your feelings are about that. But at the same time, um, I think if our defense just really uh, goes after that Jets offense, then we should have a pretty great chance of winning this game this week. So with that being said, um, go Texans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hopefully uh, we'll win. We'll pull it together. And I'll come back and tell you about another great victory. With that being said, I'm Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. Holla.